Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, welcome in. And for the rest of Kel's crew, welcome back, you guys. So I did take your advice on a recent poll that I posted on here. And most of you guys said you wanted to see a tutorial on the brand new Natasha Denona Face and Cheek Palette. And so I took your advice and I went and got her. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this really gorgeous glam look, all the pricing and the specs on this palette, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side Alright guys, so I did go ahead and pick this up and I'm really excited about this release because I am a Natasha Denona stan. I've tried almost every one of her eyeshadow palettes and they never disappoint. So being able to go get this having it have the blush and the highlighter in it. It was just scoring high marks before I even went and picked her up, honestly. So we do have an eyeshadow palette and we have a cream blush and I would say a, a cream to powder highlighter included in this palette. This retails for $59, but I do feel as if that is a good price point seeing the quality that Natasha Denona has, the packaging, and the fact that you're getting three products for your face. You get five eyeshadows, you get a blush and a highlighter, and I do want to say if you are new or thinking about beginning your makeup journey in 2022, this is going to be perfect for the beginners of us who want some quality makeup but don't necessarily have a lot of experience because every Every single one of the shadows lists where it's supposed to go on your eye and it's just a walkthrough process and I thought that that was very admirable. I hadn't seen that since Maybelline when Maybelline used to sell their quads and tell you exactly where things are supposed to go and it just makes sense. So we love those innovative products that make sense. This is perfect for on the go, this is perfect for an everyday eye look. And yeah, it's just giving a beauty. It's supposed to be glam. You can definitely build this palette up to have so many different looks. Soft glam, glam glam, no makeup makeup. She's your girl. <laughs> the packaging is beautiful. The new style is beautiful. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the products performed in real time. But this is the face and I think that it looks beautiful. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. Let's get into this makeup. All right guys, so I know I look a little bit silly, but I do like to keep a little bit of translucence powder on my face, just in case there's a bunch of fallout, just in case the formulas have differed. You guys know I have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, almost every single one of her palettes, honestly. So, you know, there isn't typically a lot of fallout, but you never know. So this powder on my face is insurance because I am going to be deep dipping into a couple of deeper shades and we just don't want to have to go back and dust those shadows off of our face. So first and foremost, absolutely, when I first saw this y'all, I was like, I have to get it. First of all, I have so many Natasha Denona freaking face and eye products, palettes. They all have been 10 out of 10. Um, absolutely love it and I'm actually excited because this release is beautiful. So it seems as if this palette is like self-explanatory and I'm just going to make an eye look based on what I'm supposed to do with this palette because it says um, outer corner transition smoke, inner corner crease. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens when we do that. So first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm going to use this. My eyes are all primed and ready. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this transition shade. And the brush that I'm using, this is a Morphe M433 brush. We're just going to go ahead and press this right into our transition area. And so we just want to put this all over our lid. Now this is just a tan neutral shade to put on your transition and it's blending out beautifully. No skipping, no fallout, which is perfect. Love that already. Perfect transition shade for dark skin, honestly. Bomb. Next I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Sigma. This is the E25 blending brush and I'm going to pick up the shade that is crease. So you, as you see the transition shade goes all in this area, right? Well the crease shade is going to focus right in the middle of your eye. So right here, not necessarily all over. Crease shade is a bit darker and it's just really a chocolate brown. And then we just press that into our crease and this Sigma E25 blending brush is perfect for that. Ooh, it's a beautiful chocolate brown. 
beautiful. Oh. You guys know I'm a neutral, everyday, soft glam, no makeup, no makeup gal. So this palette right here, I can already see myself taking it with me to travel because you got the highlighter and the blush and it's like compact and it's all the colors that I usually use. So we're just focusing that brown and swiping motions in our crease area. As you can see, it goes from dark to light, looking really good already. So the next thing we're going to do is take the smoke shade, okay? And the smoke, we are going to smoke it out. So I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics featuring Doja Cat. I really like this short, rounded brush to really focus to smoke some stuff out. So this is going to be the deepest shade to create some drama in the eye. We're going to want to smoke it right there. As you can see, there is some fallout from that. Thank God I have the powder down. So I can just simply brush that shade away as I'm dusting away the powder. Ooh. Okay, all of these mixed together are beautiful. Ugh. I get so excited with a nice, beautiful, smoky, neutral eye. It is the perfect shade matches and everything blends together perfectly. It looks so good. Natasha Denona's, uh, her formula is beautiful. So as you see, I'm building that up on the outer V part of the eye, and it's creating a smoky eye. Didn't even need a black. Like, the smoke shade in this palette looks lighter than what it comes out, but it just comes out so deep chocolate brown. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's like a chocolatey chocolate. It's like a dark chocolate shade. I'm just going to keep blending that out, bringing it past the brow. Alright, so I'm going to be using this Medium Sweeper by Sigma, but rather than having it be a sweeper, and then I'm just going to take, there's nothing in it, so we're just going to simply start to blend so there's no harsh lines or anything. And then with that same brush, we're going to go ahead and pick up outer corner with this because I want a really, really pigmented shadow. And this is just the Murad Pre-in-One Prebiotic. This is just the Murad 3-in-1 Prebiotic Spray. Absolutely love it. Mm, it smells so good. And then, yeah, so we're going to wet that brush and we're going to pick up this outer color corner. What color is this? This is like... Um, a dual chrome rose gold is like the color of the pack. So this is a color of the palette. It's like a really, really pretty bronze rose gold. Ooh, I picked up a lot. <laughs> I think that's enough for two eyes. And we're going to put it... It's a beautiful bronze shade. Uh, it's very pretty, as you can see. Very beautiful bronze shade. So this is giving more bronze than it's giving rose gold. Um, in the packaging, when it's pressed, it looks pink, but it's giving bronze. And that's what happens a lot with Natasha Denonosa. If you ever looked at her colors in her palette and you're like, ah, oh, those aren't going to work for me, get it and use it because the colors the type of when they pressed are, are pressed down they don't necessarily look the same when they're on your eye and i think that's what gives her an edge uh and the field for the price point for her products because they are better than expected for sure every single time every single rip they perform amazingly and the color pigment and payoff is beautiful this is a beautiful shade very bronze right it's not rose gold, it's like bronze. Next I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Morphe. It doesn't have a number, but it's just like a small, small, it's just a small, small brush. Um, and I'm going to pick this inner corner shade up. And we're going to build her up and see what pop. Oh, it's okay, it's a beautiful champagne color.
So I thought that this was going to be super, super champagne, but it's kind of like a muted champagne, which is beautiful. It's not just like a color of a highlighter. It's a beautiful just pop of a champagne color. It's like a cool toned champagne shade. And I'm next taking um, this Smith 157 brush. I'm going to dust away the excess powder. And right along with it goes the eyeshadow, y'all. Y'all gotta start doing that. Like, I'm so happy that I did that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this short shader brush by Sigma. It's uh, the E20 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Smoke, and I'm gonna put that right directly underneath my eyes to smoke out the bottom to give the glam feel. And taking, then taking that E25 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Crease, and then I'm going to smoke that right underneath where we put that smudge. This is Huda Beauties. This is very Vanta. I love this. It's dual sided. It's a gel liner, and it's an eyeliner for your waterline or too tight line. So first of all, we're going to line our waterline with the blackest of the black. I love this liner. <laughs> I can't lie, this is so hard to do on camera. So I'm gonna take from the small, and we're just gonna do it right here. So the liquid liner is like a hybrid of a gel and a liquid liner. It's a bomb. It's a really good formula. We're gonna go ahead and line the top of our eyes with that. All right, next I'm going to be taking, this is the Lash Freak, and this is by Urban Decay Cosmetics. A so these are the new Kiss XL lashes. Somebody was like, no way they're Kiss, and girl, yes way. They snapped, right? I thought since we were going for glam, let's pull them back out because they are beautiful and they're lightweight. Alright, so I'm back. I'm going to be using the Sephora. This mm -hmm. is their matte bronze. This is Sephora's matte bronzer. It's in the shade 6 mm -hmm. Ibiza. So I know that mm -hmm. this is a little bit deeper. We're going for an extreme glam, so we want very, very dramatic results. So we are just going to use this Smith brushes. This Smith brush. I absolutely love this brush. Create some depth on our cheeks. I'm going to take this Hank and Henry brush. This is Drit. I really like that. It's easy to contour my nose with. All right, now we get to get into the blush and highlight aspect. I'm really excited about this. So the blush doesn't have a name it's just called cream blush and the highlighter is just called star glow so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and use this Huda Beauty this is her face and cheek brush and I like it because it's flat enough that you can work with a cream product and dab that onto the cheeks and this um, and this blush is a cream blush I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with a brush I only patted that a couple of times you saw how much product came on there just a quick swift wow this is gonna be pigmented Now the breath, the blush is beautiful, and there's two different ways that you can wear blush. I I always say it's really for your face shape. For me, I like to put it on the apple of my cheek and blend it upwards. Some people just like to focus it on the apple of their cheeks. Either way is perfect. The fact of the matter is that we have a very beautiful blush toned blush that actually works well for brown skin and I do really like that. I like that it's cream. It's beautiful. You guys, I went through one of Natasha Denona's the bloom palette that was my absolute favorite blush and i kind of feel like that is what we're getting in this palette because look beautiful not patchy or anything just a very, very beautiful rosy cheek 
tint. Oh, it's so pretty. Really love that it's, she put the cream formula in there because it just really blends into my skin and I, I think that I, it looks beautiful. What do you guys think? So we're going to go ahead and dip into Star Glow and this is the Face Airbrush Finish Brush by Huda Beauty. As y'all can see, it's flat and it's going to be airbrushed and it's just going to be able to give me a nice highlight. So we're just going to pick a little bit of this highlighter up. So I pressed a little bit and it is a champagne goldish highlight. The two together, it's giving beautiful blending together seamlessly. And I would say that this isn't powder either. This has kind of a cream base for the highlighter as well. So I would say the highlighter is a cream to uh, powder kind of consistency while the blush is just really a creamy beautiful blush. I like that my face isn't patchy like anywhere. It's just very, very like natural looking. It's a very beautiful. At my mm. face with this Fenty Beauty, this is just a really nice makeup setting spray. It's a micro fine mist. Mm. The MAC Cosmetics Chestnut Liner. My lipstick mm. is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick. Let's go ahead and top that with this Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar. Mm lip gloss and then right in the middle of my lip I'm going to put this Danessa Myrix this is her top this is a universal glaze lip gloss you can put it on your eyes cheeks or your lip Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I thought it turned out absolutely beautiful. I really feel like I could have even smoked everything out a little bit more, but I just wanted to play in it and show you guys how the colors transfer to my skin. Buttery smooth shadows, highlighter, and the blush are be layered beautifully. Layered absolutely beautifully. And the highlighter I really like melts into your skin and doesn't expose too much texture on my skin. So all in all, I do give this palette high marks. I recommend this. For everyone, if you're a beginner, it's going to teach you how to use it. It's going to introduce you into some quality eyeshadows so you can see the difference in blendability. It's going to introduce you to eyeshadows that blend buttery smooth, and it's going to introduce you into a blush and highlighter that are luxury as well. You guys can go ahead and get this at Sephora in store. If you're light or dark, you are going to have something to choose from, which we love and we stand. Otherwise, you can get it at NatashaDenona.com or Sephora.com. You guys, I'm absolutely loving this. One of my favorite releases of this year so far. I can tell that I'm going to be using this and having this to travel with me. Um, I may not be traveling a lot for Q1, but I definitely am going to be traveling for the other quarters of this year. So yeah, if you enjoyed this look, if you think that it looks really pretty, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all here in my next video.